Good to see you again. I actually interviewed you way back in Blade Trinity days. Oh, so. wow. Daniel. 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 Mark, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. Ten years ago. It was, it was ten years ago. My God, it's hard to believe it's been that long yeah. already. So, I'm here with David Goyer and Daniel Cerrone. I am saying your last name correctly. Oh, uh, yes, you are. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Uh, Constantine is the show, and it's great. This is one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite DC characters. Good. It's we very hope cool. To make you proud. It's very cool. To, well, from from the moment I saw the first promo image, I thought, okay, that's John Constantine. So I'm sure you guys were probably very satisfied. With it. Yeah. That, that was the first I, thing that we said when yeah. we went out. We're like, look, he's got to be British. He's got to be blonde. Got to have the trench coat. He has a trench coat. Believe it got, or not. Got to be a smoker. I was going to say, despite much controversy, we said he has to smoke, and he does smoke. So we want to, like, sort of clear that, clear the air on that right now, or... Or, or, uh, or, or, or yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, obscure the air. <laughs> exactly. Do you ever think you'd see the day when people complain that somebody wasn't smoking in the entertainment? It is. It is. I'm not sure it, that what that, that says has, about it, us it as a has, culture. It has been through, a bit through the looking glass, but, yeah. I mean, it, but we're obviously aware that that feature is kind of integral to the character. So we're not shying away from it. You know, there were suggestions to give him a patch or a Nicorette gum, and we just thought that was ridiculous. We can't show him inhale, so you won't see him inhale. But in every other way we can keep it alive, we intend to keep it alive. Are there particular storylines from the comic books that you guys want to try to make sure you address or bring into the fold somehow? In time, I mean, look, there's you know, over 300 issues of source material to draw from. So it's not like we're saying, okay, we're going to do, you know, this story arc for the first seven episodes and, you know, sort of like Game of Thrones is adapting George George's books. Right. Uh, you know, the first season loosely tracks American Gothic. I mean, we, but we dip into some of the Delano run in the first season as well. And, and, and you know, we'll, we'll see iterations of almost all of it should be we be on the air long enough and the nice thing is is you know in terms of the constantine timeline i think he was introduced in swamp thing like two years after the newcastle event we've compressed that a little bit so it's like six months after but we're meeting him at the same time that comic book fans met him so all those great things that fans know the constantine character went through like the dangerous habit storylines we can take him Excellent on habits. all those journeys. Like we're not sh we're not short circuiting anything. So there's just a world of inspiration. And our big storyline in the beginning is Newcastle. Look, we're gonna by the end of the first season, we'll have met the entire Newcastle crew. Uh, we're not done seeing their gall. Like we want to play all those things through, and then hopefully we have seasons ahead to just to take take fan like to take TV fans who've never read the comic book. On all those journeys. We'll be seeing Papa Midnight in the first season, a lot of other characters from the comics. Tana, maybe? Uh, not we, impossible. I mean, we look, we have access to the occult universe. We may see a few we're other of those Zed. characters. We're starting with Zed. I'll let you guys go, but I can't wait. Thank you so much Thank for you. bringing this to TV. Thank you. Really excited. Thank you. Thank you.